Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here bringing you guys a video. I wanted to show you guys the perks in Black Ops 2 and the perk slots 1, 2, and 3. Um, some of the different combinations that I plan on using these perks for different scenarios such as knife only. Uh, play the objective and uh, I don't know, like anti-air class and sort of those sort of things. Um, the site that you guys can find all this information on, I'll leave it in the description. But basically you can um, create your own classes on the site. It's really pretty innovative. I really like what they uh, have done with the site. But I wanted to show you guys uh, these perks and just kind of give you guys some of my thoughts on it. One of the things I have to say is that they changed around the perk system quite a bit. So um, there's no pro perks and that's kind of a, a big big thing. So these are the first perks you can see. Flat, flak jacket, ghost, uh, blind eye, hardline, and lightweight. And a little detail on each of them. Um, you can you can read this if you want. I don't really feel like I need to read it to you. But flak jacket is pretty much the same thing as it used to be. Ghost um, you cannot be detected by enemy UAV while moving. If you stay in a corner, you will be uh, on the radar, though. I think that's the best addition to the game possible. Um, blind eye uh, if, if is only affected by AI-controlled uh, perks, so that's also another difference. There's actually two perks for the one for uh, AI, one for human, and I'll show you that one in a second. Hardline uh, gives you more points, and then lightweight is pretty much the same and no no damage from falling. So no perk pro perk involved. Uh, with that in order to get that next you have scavenger hard wire um, or hard wired excuse me cold blooded fast hands and then toughness and kind of a breakdown of that um, hard wired is the immunity to, to counter uav and emp which again that would have been for like modern warfare 3 that would have been um assassin like pro or whatever so it's nice that they kind of um separated those things cold blooded as well uh it's it's kind of it's neat that they you have to have so many different things to be like hidden uh, which I think is great. Toughness is probably the one I'm using the most, though. Flinch uh, less when shot, and Scavenger. Those are the, the big ones. But Cold Blood, and I'm probably not going to use very much. Fast Hands looks uh, neat, but I don't know. Like, if you can swap weapons faster, then you might have a chance. But since, I mean, I don't really use grenades, so it doesn't really matter to me. Third tier uh, perks Engineer, Dead Silence, Extreme Conditioning, Tack Mask, Awareness, and Dexterity. So there's three of the perks here that are new. Engineer is one of them. Uh, show the um, enemy equipment, so I guess it's not really new, uh, but it's it's uh, sit rep more or less, and then also you can booby trap packages, which is something that you could have done with Hardline Pro in, in the previous versions. Um, dead silence, uh, you can move silently, obviously, duh, extreme conditioning, but it's not infinite. Tack mask is the same, pretty much, and awareness, um, enemy movements um, are easier to hear. That's kind of like sound horn, and dexterity is one like uh, Marathon Pro, I guess, in the past, uh, where you can climb faster and, and remove from melee. That that's that was, I mean, it's like they're mixing a bunch of different perks together and in, in, in combinations for those uh, primary perks. Now, you do have the option of doing a wild card, as I mentioned in the previous video. You can, if you want to use two tier uh, one perks, you have to use the wild card for, for it. If you want to use two tier two perks, you have to use the wild card, etc., for it. And then, Basically, uh, you can only use two. You can't use more than two per per uh, perk area. But it's kind of neat that they give you the option to do that. Um, and the way that they balanced them out so much, it's not like you. In order to really maintain hidden and stuff, you're not going to be completely like hidden because you have ghost and 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 all these other perks and stuff. But you don't have the combination of all of them like you did in the previous uh, Call of Duty games. And I think that it's going to be quite an action-packed uh, game because of 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 this balance. But i uh, showing you guys some of the classes. Again, I've shown this on a couple other videos, but this is going to be my primary class. You can see Hardline, Toughness, and Dexterity are the ones that I'm probably going to be using. Um, I, honestly, like the perks aren't really the the key point anymore. I mean, you don't even have to have uh, tier perks uh, in, in certain areas. I'm, I mean, I might have not even use a tier 3 perk if I don't feel like I need it. I might just use two tier 2 perks or whatever, or Toughness and whatever uh, wherever Scavenger is, because um, I definitely like uh, using scavenger, I don't know if that was a tier one or a tier two. I can't remember, but but I don't know, man. It's uh, it's nice that you can actually change it around, and I'll explain the point system and all this stuff in in um another video. But the point system is also something that I found really confusing at first. But then the more you look at it, it's like, damn, this it really is balanced. The fact that they took all of the perks and put some of the the perks in as attachments for guns, it makes logical sense, and also it just makes it it more like a um, I don't know, man as well. This is my anti-air class that I'm going to have here. That's why I have the blind eye set up and hardwired and cold-blooded and, and uh, stuff like that. Engineer was just one I kind of threw in there. Um, EMP grenades and uh, the, the stinger or whatever that one is. Um, 
for it. Yeah, so that's my anti-air setup for that. This next one is going to show you, this is like my knife only or rushing class, I guess more or less. It would be lightweight, uh, extreme conditioning, and dexterity so you can move around a little bit quicker and, uh, or I guess up, uh, like climb shit, I guess. And then scavenger I threw in there for the knife only part of it for the combat axe only, but if, if I wasn't going to do knife only, I'd use a different perk for tier two. Uh, probably scavenger or um, who knows something else in in that area but but i kind of like the fact that they they didn't add pro perks and they kind of took away from the the wow factor of all the perks i mean they're it, they're not 100 percent essential and i remember black ops they weren't there was a, a bunch i mean the the categories that they put them in were weird and sometimes you didn't need to to, to use them and stuff this is going to be my the ptfo class that, that I would, i'm calling play the the f and objective class and i have flak jacket on there and tack mask and toughness and hardline um, and uh, that's pretty much it. This is going to be my go-to class for when I'm trying to, to win the games and whatnot. Maybe I'll throw a silencer on there. Who knows? But anyway, hope you guys like this video. Uh, just trying to break down some of the stuff in uh, Block Ops 2 for you guys and trying to really more or less just learn myself. If you guys have anything that you guys feel free to, uh, to add in the comment section, I always appreciate it. Have a good one, guys, and check back for the breakdown of the whole entire uh, creative classing for the points. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Bye.